Hi, everybody. Um, I thought I'd make this video for you because a few people have been asking recently, how do you convert um, uh, WMA files, for example, you may have recorded in your GCSE speaking assessments into MP3? What's the best way of doing that for free? So what I thought I'd do is uh, show you how to do this in Audacity, um, which uh, is pretty straightforward. So the first thing you need to do is install Audacity, just do a search for Audacity to find it download the uh, the software it works on mac pc and linux and um, once you've installed it you then need to install what's called the ffmpeg encoder so to find that you go to the edit um, option here you go to where it says preferences like this then you go to where it says libraries and then here where it says ffmpeg library version you need to click on the download option i've already got it installed but i'm going to show you how to install it yourself so you click download uh, that creates a new uh, tab here. There we are. This is what it looks like. You then, depending on what uh, uh, your operating system you're using, Windows, Mac, or Linux, you click on the appropriate link. So I'm on a Windows machine right now, so I'm going to click on the installation option. Right. Having done that, we then look through to see where it is that we need to click. And as you can see here, it says installing the F uh, FFmpeg uh, library. So I click on that. And then I can just click here where it says FFmpeg download page. Okay, having done that, um, all I have to do now is uh, is wait, I think, for the download to start. And as soon as that happens, then I'm good to go. No, I don't have to do that. I have to click here. Right, so you can see it's version 2.2.2, .2 and it's going to install it. Now I'm going to click here like this, and I'm going to click Save. Okay, there it is. So it's an XE file because I'm on Windows. And now I'm going to click on this to then launch it. There we are. Okay, and uh, you accept the agreement. You click Next, Install, and Finish. Perfect. So now we've done that. All I need to do now is go back to Audacity. And you'll see that it's um, uh, it's been installed, I think. Uh, if I click on locate you can see here it says audacity has automatically detected uh, fmpeg libraries do you still want to locate them uh, manually and you say no you don't so that's how you install it. it's very very straightforward okay so once you've installed the ffmpeg um, encoder you then need to import all the um, wma tracks into audacity so to do that you click on the file option you click on import you click audio and you go to where your WMA files are. Now I've just made three here by way of example. So I'm gonna select them all like this. Uh, I just clicked on the first one, held uh, my finger down on shift on my keyboard, selected the last one and that selects everything. So that's a quick way of doing it. If you now click open like that, you'll see all the tracks are now in uh, Audacity. And because we've now uh, installed the FFmpeg, uh, encoder, it means that I can import WMA files into Audacity. If I hadn't have uh, got that encoder, it would um, show up an error message saying I, I need to install it. So that's why it's important to go through those stages. Right, once you've done that, um, all you have to do now is click on the file option and export. And instead of export as MP3 or what have you, you need to choose export multiple. That's really important. So you choose export multiple like this. Um, you choose where you want to save them. I've chosen on my desktop. I've got a folder called WMA files. So I'm going to put them there. You choose uh, the format. So I don't want WMA. I want to choose MP3 like this. Okay. You need to say where it says split files based on tracks. You keep that as it is. And it says name files using label or track names. You keep that as it is. And that's all you have to do. So then having done that, you click export. You then just have to click OK the number of times uh, uh, that you're doing this conversion. So it, let's say you've got 30 files, you have to click OK 30 times like this. OK, we've done it. There are the files uh, in MP3 format, and then you just click OK. Perfect. And now to just check they're all there, all I have to do is, there we are, get rid of that and that. And you can see I've got the WMA files there. And I've got the MP3 converted versions here. So if I go like this, as you can see, if I uh, yeah, have a hover over hover, hover over the file, you can see it now says MP3. This one says uh, WMA. So if you wanted to have them in a separate place, 
clearly you just create a different folder and, and export them all there. So hopefully you found that useful. This is a quick and easy way of being able to export batch process, um, uh, let's say WMA files into MP3 that you've recorded in your GCSE speaking assessments, and you need to then turn them into MP3 to upload them to the uh, exam board. I really hope you found this useful. If you'd like to know more tips and tricks about using Audacity or in particular about podcasting, don't forget I've got um, a podcasting masterclass starting in a few weeks' time. Um, just check out the Eventbrite link in uh, the tweet that you're seeing right now um, or have a look in the description in the YouTube clip as well. And I'd love to see you there if you'd like to learn more about how to use Audacity in creative ways for podcasting. Okay, take care everyone and enjoy the rest of your day.